Community Viewpoint. And welcome to another edition of Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. And this segment will be somewhat solemn uh, segment because we're going to look back in, in, uh, at a, an event that we had in Pahrump uh, a few weeks ago where we, we looked back at the uh, commemoration of the anniversary of the 9-11 attack on the Twin Towers. We had a very well attended uh, event on um, Sunday the, the 11th of September, but I'll let uh, our guest today, Linda DeMeo, talk to you about that because she was one of the principal event coordinators. Uh, Linda Cass was there also, but Linda's a little under the weather, so she couldn't make it here uh, today. So hopefully you'll, you'll watch us uh, on the show. So Linda, can you tell us a little bit about, about the event? I want to thank you so much for having me here. Linda oh, asked me to be, and Linda, I'm missing you already. <laughs> Can you believe that 15 years has passed since 9-11? When, if you were at the World Trade Center, you folks have gone through so much. Reva's husband, Ken Braun, was there, and he's suffering the effects of it. I have a cousin who worked for Turner Classic, and he's suffering the effects because they had to go in and do the wiring after that. Mm -hmm. And naturally, um, many Port Authority cops that my husband worked with in coordinating various uh, scenarios at the World Trade Center in his police career had died. It's a sad moment in our history, but what happened here in Pahrump on 9-11 brought it all home to us so that we could remember Right, and, and as we'll be talking, let's let's go through the first segment. We have a lot of video, a lot of still uh, pictures, a little uh, collage, so to speak. And there's there's Linda. There's Linda yes. and Todd Kirshner that um, did the filming. We had our riders, we had our key club, we had our. Um, uh, a lot of Vietnam vets there, well, I see. Well, and the G yeah, JORTC, our Vietnam vets, our DAV, mm -hmm. Pastor Ron Fairborn, and I want to say way thank you to GIUSA. Uh, Cindy and George have an incredible rapport with their landlady, Tanya, and she let them do that. There's our silver tappers. <laughs> There's Linda and her granddaughter. Oh, sweet. Yes. I mean, Todd took some beautiful pictures. We had, this is the colonel for the junior <laughs> ROTC. This was all our key club and junior ROTC that took the names. And there's the precious GIUSA. Look at our young people that were there. Mm -hmm. John, we have the most amazing young people. We had a barrage of our community, and our young people sat at that table and took those names and never... There's our BJ. <laughs> wow, we cannot forget our BJ. And they took these names and worked with the people that came on them and were writing their names, and, and they handled it. You know, for being so young, they handled it in such a mature manner mm -hmm. in working with the... Uh, the community get as many names down as possible. That and was the Sheriff's Auxiliary over there, I just saw. Yes. Okay, there you go. There's our riders. And you're going to be able to see how many people showed up. Look at all these wonderful people mm -hmm. that came out. There's oh, Albas. Albas, yeah. And his, Kathy Mazzola, the lady there, she baked these fabulous cakes, <laughs> the uh, World Trade Center cakes, and the Never Forget. Yeah, she's an unbelievable baker. A Look at our ROTC. junior ROTC. Look at our young people. They weren't even born. Mm -hmm. oh, true. And I'm sure everybody there has a story as to where they were when this happened, and I bet you they all remembered. It, it was an amazing, amazing evening. Such a huge turnout, yes. And the weather was decent for that, too. Absolutely. The weather was decent. The um, facility, you know, doing it there was perfect. Because mm -hmm. when, I, when I had the idea to do this, you know, I, I look around to see who can help me in, in getting things coordinated. You know I do a many 
different things in the uh, community. Yes. And when I saw what um, Cindy did, this is Mike's son, Linda Cass's son. Oh, um, that's right. Right. Okay. And his daughter. Uh, what GIUSA does for the veterans, uh, they have cookouts over there. And I realized the rapport that they had mm -hmm. with their landlady. So that's why what I said, oh my God, this would be the perfect idea for the glow sticks. And as I explained to you, um, uh, gosh, what's her name? Paula Glidden and I many years yes, ago discussed yes. this. And so this was the timely event. And GIUSA, the committee, stepped up to the plate and did an amazing, amazing gathering of people. This, can you imagine Station 51? I mean, it was just phenomenal how, okay. So this must signify something that I'm not aware of. 1935. Was this the, was this a ve vehicle that was in Queens at the time? Because I understand that there was something that was in Queens. Maybe that but was But I it. never saw which one it was. And there's the girls. Yeah. Oh, this is the, the drone? This is the, the, is this the drone now? The silver tappers were no. dancing? Well, that was just at the end of that. Okay. At the end of that. Well, okay. We, we've tickled them for what's coming up next, oh. which I is the drone. And we only have a short period of time, so let's Let's, Let's get on get with the show. Let's get to the drone. Yeah. Yeah. Pahrump came out and remembered this tragic event in the most phenomenal way. And who is piloting this drone? This is um, Freeman White III. Uh, Tony and Linda, it was my group that was supposed to get the um, photographers and coordinate it for uh, Guinness World Book. Mm -hmm. And that was our, and Tony and Linda Cass found uh, Todd Kirshner mm -hmm. and um, Morgan, uh, <clears throat> Freeman uh, White. And look at what this, how this was. Look we're, at, we're signifying the Twin Towers The right Twin there. Towers yes. here, yes. Uh, Guinness has uh, received the packet. They're going to uh, look it over. Mm -hmm. Being that we are standard, which means that we did not pay any money to Guinness, it's going to take about 12 weeks okay. before they let me know. So, but look at this. Tanya, who owns this um, Albertson's uh, area, mm -hmm. let us shut off the lights. What that lady did was phenomenal. The landlady of the Albertson yeah, uh, Center. Yeah, they've, they've said that they've had a great rapport with oh, her for great, the years. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah. Yes. And that's the in front of the USA store right yes. there. Yes, yes. So that's where everything And is Tanya flew in. I don't know where she flew in from, but she supplied food. And ah, sweet. the GIUSA and the, the part of the committee uh, organized, well, you saw, or you weren't here. No, we were out of we town. We had I'm sorry. so much giveaways, and yeah, yeah. I have to say, they did a fabulous job. Nice shot Look from at above, that. yeah. That's a better way to look at Pahrump. I've never seen it from that from vantage that point. From that angle, <laughs> yeah. And Tanya let, um, Freeman go up on the roof, oh. you know, because uh, Linda wasn't sure if we were going to have access to that. Mm -hmm. And Linda spoke with Tanya, and Tanya said, Absolutely, get up there, and got him up there so that he could get. Look at this. That's look great. At this. Yeah. So, Our community. Oh, that's fantastic. In front of GIUSA. Yes. So it's magnificent. So that went very, very well. How long did that last in the evening? Well, I think we um, people stay to eat. That um, yeah, I so did not. So I once we um, had the people there, and I collected the books and so on and so forth because I had mm -hmm. to get with the um, the trustees and the stewards and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And there's with so many people. But I I spoke with Reggie Knight, and he was sitting there eating. People were. <laughs> You know, people were reminiscing, and um, the moment was the gathering of the people, you know. And, you know, when you go to a funeral, not everything is about crying. True. You know, not everything is about crying. So, and we have so much horror in our life anyway. The, um, the folks there, um, 
they were happy to be together to remember it. Mm -hmm. it, it, it does that make sense? Yes. That they were happy it to does, be there, yeah. that they will never forget what transpired. There's a camaraderie. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. People of like minds. Yes. We're down to three minutes. And we have one more we small, have... short video. Okay. We could sneak that in there. This is going to be a great video album uh, to look back on. Yes. Yes. There, the, there's the folks getting set up. Yeah, and I'm hoping uh, Linda has given me um, the privilege of showing um, the one that Freeman took. So I want to coordinate something at the VFW so that people could come. Oh, that'd be fun yeah. too. Yeah. So I had to get a CD and a um, a CD and uh, 3G, 4G, Bluetooth. So I found that. Now I have to get the connection, but I'm, uh, that will be. I'll let people know about that. Okay. You know? Great. So it was, it was a night to be remembered. And I'm sure so many people came to me afterwards. Linda, when we do this next year, I said, I'm not saying that it's not going to be done next year, but I will not mm. be there to do that next year. <laughs> right. That's a wonderful remembrance yes. for such a horrific uh, thing that happened. So thank you, everyone, for uh, coming out there and uh, being part of that. And now we're going to have a video album that we'll, have to sh we'll show everybody when it goes up to YouTube. Yeah. Yes. And yes. I just want to say one thing, the Holiday Task Force. We've got time for that, right? we got a couple minutes? we got a couple of minutes. Take your time. Stu okay. Yes. So go then about YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube, what yes. you have here? Yes. This will come up in about a week to YouTube and then, uh, well, two weeks because this will broadcast in two weeks. So uh, it'll be up there. We'll, I'll let you know. Oh, thank yeah. you, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Now, yes. Holiday Task Force. <gasps> holiday Task Force. It's probably in the ninth year. At least. And yes. Thanksgiving will be on Thanksgiving. Yes. Christmas will be on Christmas Eve because Sunday is Christmas Day and we cannot do that um, on that day. We have too many pastors and people that go to church. Yes. But so get ready. The holiday task force is for, and, and this year we are going to be having gifts for the deliveries. So when I call to coordinate the deliveries, which is what I do, and I'm so excited about that. We will be, I will be asking um, uh, the age of young people in your household okay. and of course gender. <clears throat> and uh, anybody out there who makes a minced meat pie, <laughs> I have one wonderful person that I've been doing that for and I needed a minced meat pie. Okay, we're out of time. Thank you, you'll, you'll hear more about that in the near future, bye. Community Viewpoint. Thank mm -hmm. you.